ऑटोमेट एनीथिंग एक्सरसाइज के लिए कंप्यूटर साइंस एज अ फील्ड इट हैज अ गुड कनेक्शन विद मैथमेटिक्स सो सिंस आई हैड अ गुड बैकग्राउंड इन मैथमेटिक्स आई फाउंड इट वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टू परस्यू कंप्यूटर साइंस ऑफ मास्टर्स एज वेल Overall, you have to take ten courses, which uh, sums up to like thirty credits. As far as I remember, I had to like take three, four courses, which includes like algorithms, operating systems, and um, software engineering. Those like four subjects, and then you they have electives, which uh, the student can choose. You are allowed to take, I think, one elective, which is outside the computer um, science background. it's not uh, difficult to take a course so it's just that uh, it should be available at that time so they have this um, period where you can audit the course where you can try it out if you like it and you can take it otherwise you can drop it you have to take certain amount of credits to qualify for the switch and talk to the uh, probably director of programs to get it um transfer few of my friends have done it a uh, prominent specialization like uh, students used to take is data science and software engineering so that also depends on the course algorithms for business intelligence so it is one of the top courses like top pursued courses in its state um and it is completely project based where you are asked to um implement a project to understand a particular business um uh, solution yeah i think algorithms was one theoretical uh, course where uh, it was more of theory rather than implementing an actual project i would recommend taking like like lighter courses in the first sem to get accustomed to the environment and the scoring structure because it is quite different from what we came from like which was more of percentage based and stuff like that so i think to start off with relatively easier courses and then take tougher courses in second semester and third semester that would be ideal